शिष्य आनंदमय मात की जय इन कनेक्शन विद चिंता हरण बाबूज वाइफ सफरिंग फ्रॉम हिस्टीरिया मा सेड शी हैज कम टू दिस एज हर प्री डिस्पोजिशन विच आर क्वाइट गुड कुड नॉट फाइंड अ नेचुरल आउटलेट मैनी चिल्ड्रन हैव रिलीजियस बैंट ऑफ माइंड बट देयर पेरेंट्स अनेबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस try to direct them forcefully along another channel the result is not always good such children may develop difficult diseases or even end up in insanity children should be imparted religious instructions even from their early years you take pains to get them educated so that they may earn money when they grow up but they are denied religious instructions the other day a professor was regretting the lack of morality and discipline at the present time i told him that these were due to the drift of the time nothing is unnatural formerly the life of a hindu was divided into four ashrams nothing of the old system now remains due to the decay of brahmacharya ashram the basis of all others the rest have fallen into disarray lack of continence in parents have been transmitted to their children what good is it now to regret for their indisciplined ways what is the need of the moment is religious instruction the money oriented education is already there but it should be supplemented by religious education to chinta haran babu you have a way of doing everything methodically if this trait had been directed along religious channel in your childhood you could have made a good provision in religious matters but it had been directed wholly along the worldly channel so you are well set up in worldly affairs referring to me the baba ji had also a quiet and serious bent of mind given religious orientation he could have settled down to a peaceful temperament in this field now the very mention of religion makes the parents panicky they are afraid that given religious instructions their children would renounce the world and step out as monks what they fail to realize is how few are cut out for ascetism and how few are actually renouncing the world one predisposed to ascetism will renounce the world in spite of all the efforts to keep him tied down to family life while speaking of instruction adopted to the natural bent of mind ma referred to a niece of baba bholanath she said bholanath had a niece her name was labanya she was very devoted to me right from her childhood she did not like her mother doing up her hair she would undo it and come to me to get it done up again she longed for being with me all the time but her mother did not approve of such intimacy labanne used to say i would fain call you mother when she expressed the same feeling to her mother she snubbed her saying whoever has heard an aunt being called mother however she was married off she met me a long time after her marriage then i was altogether in a different state listening to a kirtan induced strange transformation on this body it swayed this way and that ready to fall from emotional excess one day a kirtan was on in the siddheshwari temple i was standing unsteadied by the upsurge of emotion threatening to topple down from time to time seeing this labanne was afraid lest i should be dashed to the ground and hurt 
so she hurried to hold me up. But the moment she touched me, she was in a strange predicament. She started repeating Hari Bol and rolling on the ground. Then no one was there to take note of her. All were busy with me. In the meanwhile, under the obsession, I had moved on from Asham to Siddheshwari Bari with all following me. Laban lay there alone rolling on the ground and uttering Hari Bol. Having rolled for a long time, she had her body besmeared with dust and sand so completely that a cursory looker on would not recognize her for what she was a human being. In the meantime, Akhandanand had gone to the ashram for some business. There was no one there and yet he heard the repeated sound of Hari Bol coming from somewhere. The sound was quite faint, so he found it difficult to locate its origin. After a close observation for a while, he had an idea that it was coming out from a mound of earth. Going near, he saw it was not a mound of earth but a human being, looking like that for being covered up with dust and mud. When washed with water, it was found to be no other than our Lavanya. By that time, I was myself again, but Lavanya was still obsessed. She was uttering Hari Bol unremittingly. She remained in that state for two, three days. At that, her mother was much worried and angry with me. She said, that is why I do not let her go to you. Now see what has become of her. You must cure her of it. I said, nothing ill has happened to her. She is repeating the name of Hari. This angered her still more and she said, don't tell me. She has her family to look after. How can she afford to go on like that? Bring her back to the normal state. Hearing the story, I said, Ma, I have read it in Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life that when he was in trance, a fisherman touching him had come to that state. Ma, it can happen to all, irrespective of high or low. Question, Ma, is it not called induction of energy? Ma gave no answer to this. Shishyanandamai Mat Ki Jai